Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Um, welcome. You probably already saw the title of this video. You already know what you're getting yourself into. Um, before you get started, I highly recommend praying in front of your bed because this thing is running on like decade old spaghetti code. There is like a 80, not even 80, like an 18% chance this might actually work properly for you. I mean, like I've been taking room with this shit for two years and I finally figured out how to get it to work. I mean, not two years straight, but you know what I mean, like. It's been two years since I started using it and actually got it to work properly. So, alright, links in the description. The first one um, should be Advanced Media Player. MIDI. I'm like recorded this like eight times as you can see here. This is a little bit more than eight. This is not all from that video. Like, Anyway, you want to click the first link. It should take you to this page, Game Hero, Item Owned. Click Install. It should redirect you to Studio, which this little pop-up sometimes and it'd be like take you to roblox studio yes no go to roblox studio open up a base plate doesn't matter which game you play honestly like but if you're playing like an actual proper game probably make a good backup or something because this thing could probably shag up some code um but yeah you're here the home tab this is where you start off at you want to move over to the plugins tab and this is all your plugins and so before you do anything you want to hit manage plugins And verify that it's installed and you want to click this it's usually gray and turn it on if it's not gray, I mean that's a bit rare but you know um, click this little checkbox and you want to turn this on it looks a little bit scary I know like I thought it was a bit sketchy but this is like maybe don't put it in your 80 hour long project just like just put it in a base plate test it out if you like it I mean by all means use it at your own risk uh, turn this on right now you want to click this little MIDI button and if this is your first time using it, that arrow will be there and you don't have to click that yet but uh, I'm just going to go to the next step it's not really the next step but you can do this in the order you want but this is how to do it HXD this one's recommended by Game Hero himself in the instruction manual you do not have to use this like if you have Notepad++ which is a lot more like well known by everyone you can use that. I did, I couldn't get no bad plus plus to work. I literally just use this because he suggested it works like a charm though. Um, without talking, scroll down. You can read this if you want. Um, you want to hit this version unless like you don't want to. If you know what you're doing, click this one. But for this purpose, you want to click this. Uh, I should start downloading. Open up the executable, and you might need to have a file extract like a zip extractor. Like if it's if it downloads as a zip. Which I believe it does. You only just okay, okay. Never mind. It selects language. I uh, just select English or whatever language you speak. I mean, if you're watching this, you obviously speak English. I'm just gonna download it. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need a zip extractor. I use WinRAR. I mean, you can use whatever one. You probably have another one, but if it shows up as a little thing, you probably already have one. Uh, open it up. I'm not gonna go into it, but you click this little application here. You can extract it to like. Um, you could extract to your desktop or whatever, and you could take you to where you want to go, and take your put it where you want. But now that you have this downloaded, it should be downloaded on your computer. You should have it open. I'm just gonna pause and open it myself. All right, it's open, and uh, it should be like this. I'm gonna pause it again. You want to download a MIDI file. Make sure it's a MIDI file. It should have the file extension .mid, like .mid. And to find one of those, you might already have on your computer, just have a little search around. Um, just search up any song, like, I don't know, Super Mario Brothers main theme, and then dot .mid. I'm going to use a song from Kirby that I enjoy. And I've tested it out because I've taken this video like four times, but, you know, I'm going off track. Get that, download it, and you want to click File, Open. I'm not going to do it right now, but I'll pause. Alright, this is after you've opened it up. Um, and you want to... Right click, select all, should be completely highlighted, it's a really long ass thing. And then you want to hit right click again, copy, go back into Roblox Studio, and hit add MIDI player. It should say add music script to start a GUI, MIDI creator, you see this, double click it, double click this, delete this, control V, copying the thing it should freeze your computer a little bit if you have like a freaking NAS computer it'll be fine but 
if you're like the rest of us, it'll lag a little bit. Um, wait for it to finish. Um, you want to name the song. I'm just going to name this, uh, I don't even know what it was, like Floaterland or something. I don't even know the song. I don't know how I downloaded it, but it's here. Floaterland, Mario, and then just... If you have, you have to have it in here, and then you want to hit Add MIDI. It should say that. If everything has gone correctly, it should say that. But if there might be some kind of error or something, just like troubleshoot it. I mean, I don't really know what to help you. As I said, this thing's running on 10-year-old spaghetti code, but it, this is the best case scenario. All right. It's going to automatically start playing. There's two songs built in. Um, you figure out how to use all this. I'm just going to do a quick basic rundown. This is all the different instruments. Click on this. It shows the list of instruments. Um, also, just stuff. Just go through that. Explore. Uh, it's like all the different songs, like different sounds, like the bass, the main, the chords and shit. I don't freaking know music. I'm not a music theorist. Um, you control volume, mute, whatever. And uh, this is the controller, like the actual player. Volume just turns on the volume up and down if you're not dumb. Uh, this is increased, like slows on speed. Pause. No, this is play, pause, restart, next track. Um, you can select different songs here. Uh, the volume scroll is a little bit jank. I will say that much. Um, but once you have everything, it's it, you should not hear any audio at this point. Click play, and you're basically done. If like, make sure it works first. But uh, you go in here. Should open up immediately. I'll start playing. Yeah, you should hear the audio. This is some Star Fox song. This is built in. This is a Mario song, like the main Mario theme. It's as you can see my clock right now. I'm I'm out of sanity. Like my previous video was good, but like I, I oh. This is Bowie bass, bro. This is this caught me off guard. This is low key fire. I mean, it's Roblox freaking MIDI player. This shit's from like 2009. Do not expect like freaking high fidelity MIDI files in this thing. Like, this bitch is old. Um, but yeah, um, I'm basically done here. I hope this helped. Uh, I really wish I had this video when I was doing this like two years ago, but you know how it is. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I really just hope you have a good Christmas because I don't know if I'm gonna make a video between now and then. Um, uh, Godspeed, lads.